everybody. Welcome to the eighth edition of the India Inclusion Summit. One of our guiding principles has been that everything that we do, we centralize around the purpose. And in our case, the core purpose is inclusion. And this year has been very special to us because we launched a new initiative called the Art for Inclusion with the idea of doing a truly inclusive art exhibit. And we identified eight outstanding artists from across the country. This exhibit would now be a traveling exhibit across different corporates uh, in the city of Bangalore and beyond. The friend raising evening has been an intimate conversation uh, with some real thought leaders uh, across India. Uh, the summit, as always, is one of the most inspiring platforms uh, for friends uh, across the society. Uh, and I want to leave you with a very interesting anecdote that one of the participants said. Uh, he said, Feroz, the India Inclusion Summit is the annual pilgrimage that I make every year to Bangalore. Thank you very much. awareness about inclusion is increasing in India and in the world. There have been enormous progress which has been made in medical science. So that has enabled and that has helped a lot of us. So organizations, especially the matured ones, they've actually realized that uh, organization progress and inclusion and innovation doesn't happen without having a diverse set of people, without being more inclusive. The good news though is all of us are here all of us are change champions. All of us can actually make that difference. Inclusion is a word that presupposes a power relationship. There's a party going on in another room and somebody else is gonna decide whether those people on the outside can come in or not. I wanted to think about disability as a superpower. And here's our most famous um, poster child for autism. This is Greta Thunberg. She has galvanized the largest demonstration for climate change in the history of the world. Greta Thunberg was diagnosed with autism at the age of 11, but at the age of eight, she started finding out about climate change. And she was so horrified by the inability and the unwillingness of the adults in her world to do anything about it, that she went completely silent. But she said, it's just common sense. Why keep talking to people who aren't going to do anything? You know, even though India and Pakistan have been free, have been independent, we are still a slave to our prejudices, to our barbarism. True that there are very few films that are about disability, and that too shown sensitively and in the way the, the realities are. But you know, mainstream cinema largely has to obviously please a lot more people. That's why we call it mainstream. It doesn't only have to be in front of the camera. We also need far more representation behind the, the camera. camera. You know, whether it is inclusion of gays, whether it's inclusion of disability, whether it's inclusion of Dalits, whether it's inclusion of Muslims. In so many categories we are struggling with because the dominant community, whatever that may be, often tends to decide and you know, take up all the space. So we all have to push it. And I promise you, I'm, I'm also complicit in this, so I promise you that I'm going to do my best to be far more inclusive than I've been. Woo! I think this is my movement. I was born pretty normal. I mean, non-disabled. At the age of four, I was diagnosed with cerebral palsy caused by something called brain fever. I, I'm good at studies, so I would also volunteer to teach uh, my domain knowledge. The people who really need help, we have to be our own advocates. The condition, what you have, is just a small inconvenience for you. It cannot break you down. I got another job in a doctor's clinic doing some file clerk duties. 
the job was hard for me to sustain as I was required to multitask and do customer service, so I quit the job. But my manager observed that I possessed good attention to detail skills and suggested that I pursue a career in the IT field. Today, I am working for SAP Labs as a quality associate from the past four years. Actually, my challenges are my celebration. I'm a completely independent person. I do my all activities like a normal person. I wear my dress, I wash my clothes, I cook myself, I feed my own, as usual as a normal person. Disability is not a disease. It's not even a deficit. It's the way that humans exist. It's part of our diversity and it's a complex issue. And one of the things I've realized is that you need to invite a second expert into the room. A second expert who knows much more about the child, knows much more about the child's condition or strengths or likes and dislikes and about the child's family. And that second expert is the child. We said the role of an artist is to not look away, which sort of becomes a metaphor for, you know, I mean, the real blind is the person like us who are, we, are, we turn a blind eye to so many things in, our, in things around us, you know, blind eye to injustices or even our own conscience sometimes, you know. We say, okay, let us not bother ourselves, ignore those things. See, stammering is something which uh, you can hide. I mean, you, the, a person may not know I'm a stammerer till I talk to him or till the person asks me a question. So a lot of times you just either sort of, you be aloof, you be in your own sense, it sort of shapes your personality in a way which you may not necessarily want to be like that, you know. I got a chance to make a movie which was my dream and Ram Gopal Verma was the producer and uh, he, not that he told me but he had no problem with my occasional stammering and all that but his problem would have been if I had made a bad film because he was the producer. So I sort of said to myself, let me not, let me not, what do you say, uh, let me not, you know, worry about things and just, you know, go ahead and do it. Otherwise, there's no way I'm going to, I'm going to be there, suffer all the time. How do we make sure uh, we're nimble, we're getting the best ideas, and we're getting the best out of all of our team? And so I really started to, to promote the idea that, that uh, we, need to, we need inclusion to be a part of our value system. So that newfound sense of independence, interactive ability, developing relationships, People have boyfriends and girlfriends now for the first time in their lives. These are good, not metrically provable, but possibly more important that people are feeling belonging, not just invited. And there's a difference. The best teams with the best results are when you have the most diverse constellation. If you have struggled in your life, you will definitely win. From what I knew of dystrophy, I had another five years to live. That was a very traumatic night. I cried a little, but that's the only day that I cried. Two important decisions. One was that there should never be an excuse for me not to do something. Okay? Second is I am a normal child. Now, I think the critical factor there was that on that one night, I accepted my disability. We often use a term called word of possibilities. And this place is absolute clear example. And when we see so many people around this and working on this subject, which is a complicated subject, which is a tough subject, which is a very emotional subject, it's so beautiful to see that there is, there is a world of possibilities. We now have a very special event. We have the IAS theme song launch.